Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Them Bulls. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, continuing with the draft series for the Chicago Bulls, we will be focusing on Tyrese Halliburton. So scouts have called Tyrese Halliburton one of the most intriguing players in this draft class. And the reason for that is because he was predicted to get picked later on in the draft, but now scouts are predicting that he would not just go in the top 10, but most likely the top five. I think Halliburton might be the only player in this draft class that can not only shoot well but can also play really great defense which makes him one of my favorites so of course let's break down his game style pros and cons of picking him and how he will fit on his current Chicago Bulls team. So Tyrese Halliburton is a 6'5 point guard weighing around 175 pounds with a 6'8 estimated wingspan. Tyrese Halliburton averaged 15 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 6.5 assists per game as a sophomore and shot 50% from the field. He did deal with a wrist injury that ended his season in mid-February and of course the season was cut short due to COVID. The reason why Halliburton is one of my favorites in this draft is because because he is an elite player. He's a great facilitator, he has a high basketball IQ, a great shooter, and plays great defense, and he doesn't need to have the ball in his hands to be effective on the court. According to Synergy Sports, Halliburton ranked in the 99th percentile in both spot-up shooting and assists and transition in this past season. He was one of the best passers in college basketball and showed how he is truly a team player by not being selfish with the ball, even though he is an effective shooter. He prides himself on being a hard worker and always putting the work in off the court, and it shows. He played on a USA basketball team when they won the World Cup in Greece in the summer of 2019. He was also invited to play at the Nike Skills Academy and he also played on a team called the Cyclones which was a playing tour of Italy and averaged 6.6 .6 assists. Halliburton is a player that is always working on his skills to be better and I know he would fit well on the Bulls. He could play the one, two, or three and I really think that Halliburton is a complete package when it comes to looking for a player who can really do it all. He's a reliable scorer, a great three-point shooter, and pairing him next to Zach Lowe and Kobe would be great to see. Now obviously you would have to shuffle some players around but it could work. So when it comes to cons it really isn't anything that to me are red flags. People have criticized Halliburton for two things. One for his size, he's very lanky for his height and he doesn't have an athletic build. But that's not a reason to not pick him in the draft. He can easily put on 10 to 15 pounds of muscle when he gets in the NBA. And the second thing he gets criticized for is his jump shot. He he has a slow release and it is a bit awkward, but his shots go in. It works for him. The Ringer actually interviewed him asking him about his release and he stated that he knows he's going to have to work on it and he's working on it right now because it is going to be tougher when being guarded more. But he also stated that he's been shooting like that for his entire life, so we'll see. I personally don't really see those as red flags, but obviously some people do. And another reason why the awkward jump shot slow release isn't a huge red flag to me is because if the Bulls were to pick him, he will be coached under Billy Donovan, someone that could help him improve his jump shot and not discourage him from just not taking shots at all like we know someone probably would. So that is it for this video. I really want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on Tyrese Halliburton. Like I stated before, he is one of my favorites in this year's draft, and I would not be upset if the Bulls decided to pick him. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Tweet this video to the Chicago Bulls, and I will see you guys in my next video.